Hey guys, we're back with another taste test, and I mean, I think these are our favorite videos to make because they're so much fun. Well, yes, I've had these in my freezer now for three or four days. I've been like dying it's to like try them. Power. Yes. So we're trying out Rebel um, because it's like the newest, like if you like Halo Top and you count calories, then that one's really great. But if you're counting carbs, Rebel seems to be the new hot ice cream. It's high fat, low carb, keto, yeah. no sugar added. So yeah. yeah. Like low carb and keto and high fat, so we're all written on the label. So we picked out peanut butter fudge, cookie dough, and butter pecan. Yeah. Um, and you can tell, um, like with Halo Top, they put the calories. So this has like six grams of carbs per pint. This one has eight. This is the peanut butter fudge, and cookie dough has seven. So we're gonna test them out, but they feel kind of they're. They're hard. hard as a rock, so. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh, uh, that anger, huh? That's a ice cream. No, I, I love you. I love you too. I share ice cream with you. <laughs> I need some ice cream now. Oh, this is what happens when you go too low carb to yes. But yeah, we're going to have to Holy microwave moly. these. Oh, and it does say for best results, allow your ice cream to soften for at least 15 minutes. They're soft now. They're soft, yeah. It only took forever. Yeah, it's a, a collective. 45 seconds? Well, we tried to do all three of them at once. That Not wasn't working. No. So I'm just like, screw this. Give me one at a time. So after that, I did them anywhere from 20 to 25 seconds. Yeah, and now they're like good. Like they got a little on the yeah. Oh, you can't really see, but they got a little mush. They got a good consistency. Ooh, I'm going to try this one. Okay. I'll try butter pecan. Ooh, the top's still, but I'm afraid oh, that my, my top's nice and. Ooh, it's so creamy. So I'm creamy afraid compared to like some of the. More. Halo top, you know, you have to stir yeah. and stir. And this one like... needs stirring, though. See? Because mm. the top's oh. not ready. Well, that doesn't look too convincing. Maybe it's butter pecan. This one is peanut butter fudge. I'm drinking another bite of this, but it kind of tastes like... I don't know. I don't know. I like mine. Icky. I don't like mine. I like the creaminess, no, it's very but creamy. the the flavor I don't care for. You know what? The creamy. Oh, let me get that chunk. Oh, uh, that chunk. I didn't show you what mine looked like. Sorry. You busy eating? I am. All right. So the creamy kind of reminds me of. Do you see the chunk? The creamy kind of reminds me of the enlightened ice cream. Mm. This one's much better. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's kind of like enlightened, but I feel like it doesn't have like enlightened kind of gets like. That frost. Taste. Yeah, this doesn't taste fake, which it okay. shouldn't, because while the peanut butter fudge has eight grams of carbs per pint, you should also be aware it has eight hundred calories for the whole thing. For the whole thing. So I mean, it's better than Ben and Jerry's, as I learned. She got a text message after I ate a thing of tonight dough from Jimmy Fallon. He doesn't eat that because he'd be huge. I don't like this one either, but oh. maybe I don't like butter pecan. I'm okay with butter pecan, but I don't like that. But this one's good. I like it. I like how creamy. I like the chunks. Like, you know how, like, enlightened and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, they don't put enough chunks in there. Can you see this chunk? I don't like that one. Let's move it so I don't accidentally keep eating it. Mm -mm. Oh. All right, we're going to dive Lady in. Lady in the Trampet. Oh, this is nice. Oh, look at Yeah. How, what, this one's cookie, cookie dough? dough? This should be our favorite. Mm, no, that's peanut butter fudge. It's good, but I didn't get any cookie or any chips or nothing. I see some chips here. Mm. Let me go dig them. It's very creamy, like we said. It is very creamy. But it was pretty much nothing in there. Mm -mm. Just. Well, I still haven't gotten a chip. Oh, I got a chip. Oh, there's some but cookie I wanna, dough. I want cookie dough. Like, to be able to tell you if it's gritty or not. Oh, there's a whole bunch down okay. in here. Oh. Well, mm -hmm. I might have got it all. No, I'm sleepy. <coughs> Alright, so Halo Tops is kind of gritty, so I want to see if this one's gritty. Oh dear, I got choked on that string. <laughs> Excuse me for a minute, y'all. <coughs> okay, here it goes. I don't like it. It's kind of really long. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can keep that one. I got this one. I actually takes another bite. Well, if you're going to take it. I know. Oh, there went the dog. <laughs> so what all is in this? I don't know. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Now you can read. I was gonna say swap with me. But oh, okay. Here. Oh, there's some cookies right there. <laughs> <laughs> let me read, and then I'll let you another bite in a second. 
All right, so the first ingredient is cream, mm. uh, water, cookie dough, which is almond flour, that keto uh, sugar, I can't pronounce, earth or all or whatever. Yeah, hold on. You Palm oil. Trip, so. um, heaven forbid, let's clean that up. You just want to go. Uh-huh. Um, and then it has more of that erythrol, keto kind of sugar. And then chocolate, and I break down how the chocolate's made. Chicory root, that sounds healthy. Oh, chicory root fiber, mm -hmm. even better. Egg yolks, milk, protein, isolate. Vegetable glycerin, um, some kind of gum, like to hold it together. And then garum gum, and then monk fruit. Oh, good. Oh, no, this one's really good. And like, there's more cookie dough now, like. Yeah, we missed a chunk right on top. That's yeah. what was just going to fall out. Yeah. So I'd take care of the situation. Yeah. So, I'm going to get me a big old bite. Will you buy it again? I would definitely buy it again, but I'll be really, really honest. I don't know if I'll be able to stop at... I know. 800 I mean, I know, like, if you're low carb, then... Mm. Or keto, you don't count calories, but... 800, you know, calories on some fake sugars and palm oil and stuff, like... And cream? I don't know. Like... I don't even know if keto people should do that, but I'm not a doctor. But we still eat the occasional carb or two, so we aren't strictly keto or strictly low carb. So we would eat this whole thing, and that would be that. Oh, not it's good. about six dollars at Publix. I don't know how much it is where y'all are, but let us know that too. But buy one get one could be dangerous um, at Publix. And like she said, it's not as bad as Ben and Jerry's, the, mm -mm. the t Late Show, Tonight Show, whatever it is. It's not as rich as either one of those so either. Good. Because I buy fish food and the tonight dough, which are both chocolate based, and we didn't need a chocolate one, so I will give you that. But all of these, all three of them, even the peanut butter fudge, are lighter than a Ben and Jerry's. Yeah, they're so. If you want to so. feel like, because I mean, I kind of sit down with the, you know, tonight dough, like I'm going to just like eat this, and then I'm just like, holy crap, what did I just eat? So if you're looking for that, you still have to go Ben and Jerry's. But this is good. super light. I think it's yeah. because of the cream. Mm -hmm. Oh my word, y'all. This could be. Bad. Yeah, it could be really bad. All right, well, I think you got the idea. I'm sorry. You need to go get this. Yep, I'll quit If talking. you know you're counting carbs. If you're counting calories, be careful. Put it in a bowl and then sit down. Hide the extra. Hide the container. Mm -hmm. Boy. Mm -hmm.